I've known Lina since we were 12 years old. And we really bonded over cutting class. We really bonded over cutting class and learning Sean Paul lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Feel that now. Lena and I are always the latecomers. So it's always funny how <laughs> we call each other and we'll ask, are you here? Are you there yet? Or if you're there, then I should be there. Or if I'm not yet there, then she knows she's still within time. Or if I find that Lena is there already, then I know I'm really late. I met Lena for the first time when they started dating. And uh, I always used to see Lena coming in. Basically, by then we're all bachelors. She reorganized the home. We just clicked. She's, she's the kind of person where it, she's easy to befriend. She's a very genuine person. I first met Lena in 2007 at King's College Budo. We were on the basketball team together. We had uh, some very good time on the basketball court. We've continued to nurture the friendship. Um, after school, we were on campus together in Nana Hostel and also now in the professional business space we've been uh, communicating, doing different uh, coaching together. But also we have seen ourselves transition from nonsense to sense. Lina is a very spontaneous person. Like we can just be there at work and then she says let's go do this. And we just kind of get like plans for a whole day. And, eh, we've gone through so many things together. <laughs> Lina has been my friend since she was a baby. She used to spend time with her grandmother and her dad, Uncle Medi, always used to move around with her on the weekends. When I joined campus, the very first day, I was told that your roommate is Lina. I did not know her, I did not have a clue what she looked like, but everyone spoke so highly of her. They were like, oh, you're going to love her, she's a very lovely girl, she has a bubbly personality, you guys are going to be perfect together because you guys are literally the same and what's funny is that I spent two weeks of sleeping in that room and I had never seen Lina. The Lina we knew at the back in this picture eh, that you judge me for <laughs> um, in P7 is the same Lina that we are seeing now with just a lot more depth, a lot more growth and a lot more compassion for the things we've seen in life. Lina has been a joyous and bright girl. First time you see her, you like her straight away. Me and my family stayed in a um, bar, I think, and she came down with her mom to visit. And we have, we traveled to Kasese together. And some of these things I definitely don't remember, and she definitely doesn't either. She was a bit closer to my older sister because, because I feel like her mom and my mom would just literally like share clothes from Lena and then give them to Lazia and then it would pass down to me. So really, um, I think I've known Lena my entire existence. Lena and I would have calls literally every single day for like hours on end where we're just chit-chatting and she's one of the um, the only people that I have a really fun time just running errands with because she hates driving and so I remember back when Back before I became terrified to drive in Uganda, she would like let me like drive her around and I just had the most amazing time even if all we were doing was like shopping or going to get fittings or going to do this and that. One thing I know about Lina, she's a focused girl. She's the sweetest person that I know and she gives the best hugs. Like her hugs are just full of love, like she's nice, she's very, very prayerful. I'm inspired by her every day because of how determined and hardworking she is. Lina makes them best meatballs. I met Ecolia in 2008. I met Joshua in P6. We joined Bodo together in 2003. Oh, that seems like ages ago. We lived together for at least, I think, two years. Ecolia is the kind of person who on a daily will come up with a new idea and each and every idea is backed up by research. I met Josh in uh, I was past P3 red and then blue. P1 green. Green Hill Academy. Joshua was the fastest runner in the whole school. Every time he comes home, yeah, there's always going to be a debate. So if you're not ready for a serious debate, then you're not ready for him. I met Josh in university, and at that point, they weren't even dating. They, like, I don't think that was even, like, I 
don't know like the, the two lives were totally separate you know now that i see them together i'm like oh so sweet i know they were in budo together so clearly budo is not just a school for studies it's a school for bearing people she calls me and tells me about josh because you know i like being singer so i <laughs> i fixed fixed her with a few questions okay she answered my questions so structuredly and and convincingly from her first statement, I knew, she, number one, she was in love. I actually met Josh same time, around when we were on campus. I know that Josh used to come around and say hello, what's up. And he was a good guy. One time we went out and she, she happened to come with Joshua. But I also knew Joshua because Joshua is a friend from my twin brother. So, yeah, so that's when I found out she was dating. And yeah, Joshua is also an amazing guy. So, I mean, I've seen them together. You should see them together and understand what, I, what I'm saying. I met Josh uh, three years ago. Lina brought Josh to my house. She said, uh, this is Josh. I said, hmm, can you elaborate? Josh who? <laughs> She's, she, she said, this is Josh. She's my boyfriend. So Lina tells me she's, you know, seeing somebody, a boy. I'm like, woo, tell me more. <laughs> And she's like, yeah, it's Josh. I'm like, Joshua. And she says a call. I'm like, oh, really? How did that happen? And then she just tells me this. I mean, he started. He reached out. I think he vibed her. I don't know. The first time I met Joshua, he looks like my Obi, James, his brother. So I was like, oh, you're James's baby brother. He's like, no, I'm his younger brother. And that for me was like, hey, mama, that baby brother is like, he's a big man. He's grown, you know? And for me that I like he, he, he earned my respect. I remember seeing this guy that I hadn't seen before and just seeing how much he loved Lena and seeing this guy like handle her, I don't know, like the most delicate thing in the world. I don't know what she was explaining to him, but he was listening to every word she was saying and in my mind I'm like, if my boyfriend doesn't look at me like that, I don't want him. Getting to know Joshua was lockdown, COVID, as the whole world was suffering. That's when their relationship flourished. There's this one time we were at Shatra's house. Shatra was hosting and yeah, that was like maybe four, three years ago. And that's when I first saw Josh. Joshua would walk all the way from Bukoto to Vienga and walk back. Yeah, it was the sweetest thing to watch because I'd never seen Lina with anyone. Um, so him coming around and him fitting into the family. My first memory of Josh is we had done a trip around Uganda together with Lena. She was going for work and we went to all these different places and we had a stopover in Kampala and I forced her that night to come with me because I wanted to meet somebody in town and she came with and we found Josh there and I remember him being so nice and so sweet to me and it hasn't changed because I'm the favorite of the family. One memory that uh, is quite uh, vivid in on my walk with the call is um, in, uh, around 2010 we went to the business of selling cars and uh, this is particular car was supposed to sell to some Indian gentlemen. Of course we were just fresh off campus and we knew that once we sell this particular car, the call had plans to do X, Y and Z, I also had plans to do X, Y and Z. And on the last day when the Indian was supposed to pay, the man called us and said, no, this is the particular car that I know. So. As everyone was thinking of other things, Joshua was, was the first amongst all our friends to seek public office. I remember when he told me he was going for into the, for the political circles. He found me at Lincoln's uh, flat in Bugorovi and uh, he told me his goals. And so he asked me for a few tips. I don't think I was <laughs> the best person to ask for those things, but I, I gave him hints. And that was something that made us really proud of him. Because as everyone was focusing on other things that weren't very important, he was, seeking, he was seeking public office so that he can help the youth in his area. I think for me, one moment at Pinpoint, I don't know if you remember this, we went to Amara Gardens, and this is the time that I knew you were the guy for my sister. One thing I can't forget about Lena always is her laugh. Your laughter at the back of the class spoke for you. We spent most of our days on campus laughing. We would laugh and cry and fall to the ground. What I'll never forget about Lena is the sleepovers we used to have. We used to share grub in school. We were always neighbors in class, but teachers didn't really 
like it because we were like a we were like a, a bomb ready to explode. Lina taught me colors and uh, she used to help me with my homework. Lina Mugezi. Through life, I have very few memories of things that I haven't been through with Lina. So India was, I think she saw that I needed her in India and she volunteered herself to come. I remember back in the day, Lina wanted to be a lawyer, like her saying a star. So she wanted to go to Namagunga Primary. For those who know Lina, you know the size. I'm talking about some small little girl focused to go to a boarding primary school. So I remember the parents went to get for a place in Lohana. Just as a backup, they didn't know she was really, you know, willing to go to a boarding primary school. But Lina being Lina, she went to Namagunga Primary School right from P1. She's a go-getter basically, and that's all from that attitude of, you know, not playing by the book. Ha. I think the nickname that stands out most for me was Chanil's because it was Sonia Lena. So it was S then Hanil's. So Hanil is Lena actually spelled backwards. I was like, what? I also want a nickname like that. And I changed my name to, to Isles. Or in fact, most of my things in life is my name backwards as well because I copied it from Lena. We had this thing where I would either combine your name with your favorite artist or your first name and second name. So Lina went by Sebli. Sebunya Lina, Sebli. That was her name for the longest time. And then later on in life when we met so many other friends, she went by Lina Lee. Lina Lee. And to be honest, I also don't know where that name came from. We just happened to be Lina Lee. Josh goes by a couple of nicknames. I, th I think the most the most popular one is a Colster. He's Ekiji. Colster. It's Jizzy on the call. Colster. I really don't know the, 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 the history behind the Colster. At least for Colster, you see, uh, it, 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 it's derived from his name. He's a call, and the man has always been a superstar. When you hear how Josh talks about Lena, you know he really loves Lena. Joshua loves Lena in a way that I like how he loves Lena. Josh is fun. He's always a happy person. That's one thing I know. The only advice I can give them is add God to your marriage and your life. And we wish you so much, so much, so much love. We still expect to have parties at your house, that lemon chicken, so Josh, I hope you're ready because we're not going to leave your house. Um, we're still going to be your friends and... Um... So I want you to have as many children as soon as now. <laughs> Hi, Lena and Josh. How are you? I hope you're doing so well. Congratulations on your big day. I'm so glad that God has brought you to this day. May he continue blessing you and I hope that he blesses your marriage in your union. I love you so much. Wish you all the best so far. If you can look around, I'm seated right there in the corner as you're watching me on the screen. I'm probably the person having the best of time screaming, Lina! Yeah, that's me. You know, I'm on your speed dial like you always do. <laughs> I wish you the very best. I wish you guys longevity. It's not easy these days, but I know if anyone can do it, eh? it's Joshua and Lina. I wish you guys the best. Everything about marriage is centered around prayer and God. The moment you eliminate the one who started it, yo. The, the, the best advice I can give is like keep your mind and heart open to whatever will happen. I wish you the very best and I, I pray it's a, a very fruitful and blessed marriage. Keep being brand new every day. Keep finding different ways to love each other. Lina, my sweet, sweet Rumi, forever. I wish you the very best in this new chapter of your life. I know you're going to make a very lovely wife. Um, I know that when I was getting married, uh, you got me a small box full of funny peppers that, of things that my husband should do for me once we get into the marriage. I'm actually going to bring that same box back to you and let's see how you do with it together. I love you and God bless you. Congratulations, Felicitacion. Inshallah, we shall be seeing you post the wedding. Congratulations, I love you. And I can't wait to chat to Mr. and Mrs. Equal soon. There's going to be tough times ahead, 
But as long as you continue to be friends and continue to respect one another. I've been married for some time now and I can't give you advice because you need to make your own rules for your own marriage. Put Allah at the center of your life and just keep referring and referring back to him when everything else is not working. Nicole, you promised me the people in this city are going to know your name. You gave me that promise and I know very, very soon you're going to be in the top echelons of this society. The only thing is one, please don't forget us. When am I supposed to start? Action, I wait for action. Kale, Munsaleko. Action. How do I start? <laughs> Belata, first of all, what did you talk about? I hope you guys have an amazing marriage. That sounds fake, huh? <laughs> don't add these outtakes. Guys, stop making noise in my thingy. I'm going live. If you see a pimple on my face, eh? Photoshop, eh? I don't mind even having green eyes. Nejini, ngeri jayon kutte, ninga abeki ngomogati vanna.